I'm Ann Nath, a professor of land reclamation at the University of Alberta in the Department of Renewable Resources. Land reclamation deals with cleaning up messes, cleaning up disturbances, uh, mainly after human use of the land, like industrial use or, you know, we think of oil and gas, mining, etc. In many cases, we can get it back looking exactly like it did before. And a third of my research work right now is actually focusing on natural areas like national parks and protected areas and I think those are really good examples of the kind of work that we can do and that we can incorporate into the oil sands areas as well. The Helmholtz Alberta initiative will do a lot for Canada and for Alberta in particular. It's fresh ideas, a fresh set of minds looking at a common problem and so some of the things that they've been researching for a lot longer than we have in Canada on their mine sites, some of those ideas, some of those applications can be brought to Alberta and I think can advance the, um, the reclamation work that we're doing. And reciprocally, what we are doing here, we can then bring into Europe. We have a better appreciation of what the expectations are from the different groups of people and it helps us to actually incorporate it into the work we're doing. And if we can't, then to be able to explain to them why we can't incorporate it. When land reclamation practitioners or researchers get involved in the planning process, it actually not only makes land reclamation easier, but sometimes can reduce cost and time for the industry as well. I've been working in land reclamation for a few decades now and at the very beginning of that work it was always a struggle to try to get industry to see that we needed to be there before they created the disturbance but now I'm seeing just the opposite with a lot of the companies that I work with they're really taking into account the kinds of things that we are telling them. The Helmholtz Alberta initiative is going to be great for new scientists. It's going to give them an opportunity to exchange ideas, to see what young scientists are thinking about in another country, to see the different kinds of problems that they're dealing with. And so not only that exchange of ideas, but that, that new group of young scientists are also going to be able to see the global applicability of their work and to understand that it's not just being applied here in Alberta, but there's an opportunity to be solving a lot of the world's problems as well.